Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you my Magicka template in the Morrowind PTS. Obviously things are subject to change but people are really worried about a lot of the uh, the Magicka based um, setups that are already in place or that may be in place due to the fact that we have to sustain differently now. This is technically my off balance build, the original one, although um, the rotation has been adapted to what we have now coming in Morrowind and also a couple of the pieces have been changed. The demonstration itself, obviously I'm on PS4, I can't transfer my character over there, so I'm, I've got what I'm given on PTS. So I don't have all the optimal pieces, so yeah, when I've got all my stuff on there, then obviously there'll be about two or three K increase to DPS overall, but you'll see what the results are so far, and hopefully you like what you see. Now this is on a three mil, most magic could go on a three mil anyway, and we've got Ellie Drain, of course, for a little bit more sustain, but let's see how we go here. The Destro staff is on the front bar now instead of two swords, and that is for a few reasons, but above all, I use this heavily based on off balance, and and obviously crit damage as well. And if I have a lightning stave on the staff on the front bar, my wall of elements, my puncture and sweeps, my blaze and spears, all of that stuff all does an additional 8% extra damage so long as I have a Destro ability on the front bar. As you can see, I'm using Destructive Touch or Destructive Clench, whatever it is, um, at the beginning of each front bar rotation. That's not just for the knockdown, that's handy and sometimes a bit of a pain, but it's more for the dot because it applies a status effect that can keep going and it counters alongside the Wall of Elements and my Lightning Staff and then procs more of balance. Also, um, you'll see that there's two heavy attacks worked into the rotation on the back bar. Now that's not random, that is actually planned. It's a spear, a wall of elements, with a light attack in between each one. Then a heavy attack, Vampire's Bane, heavy attack, and start spear and wall of elements again, and go back to normal. Um, this in constant rotation will keep up really, really good sustain. In fact, you don't actually need Ellie Drain with this particular setup. If you're using, but if you're using destructive touch on the first bar occasionally, it does start to sort of drop your resources but this uh, this actually runs really really well you can even kill a six mil like this it's no problem at all now to start with obviously when you you look at heavy attack builds you think they're probably not going to top more than 20k um, even the sorcerers are still hitting between 23 27 depending on what they're using and this one without all my optimal setup I think got 30 which is now about to pop up where the hell is it come on there it is. Yeah, 30k DPS. Um, with full sustain. So don't panic. Mag Templar is absolutely fine. And it's not too boring either. I mean, it's got two major heavy attacks incorporated into the rotation. They are very important. They do have to be in the right place. And obviously, all the skills have to go in the right place as well. I will make a separate video for that in the coming future when the Morrowind patch actually lands. When it's, when it's live, I will then do a whole new build video for this particular character with the new rotation in place, showing what we end up with as a final rotation and of course more uh, viable DPS demonstration because at the moment, like I said, we're lacking 2 or 3k DPS, maybe a little bit more because I don't have all the right stuff on. <clears throat> but we'll see what happens. So once again, thank you all very much for watching. Please do check out the website, check out the Patreon page, check out the Facebook page and if you're not already subscribing, please do hit that button, it is free. Once more, thank you very much for watching and bye bye.